<laughs> oh my god, Corona! No, I don't have coronavirus. I rebuke in the name of Jesus. For some reason, every time I do my intro, that literally sets Gizmo off. And this time he even ran into my light. Jesus. Let's try that again. Take two. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Deborah. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the ColourPop Mulan Collection. Oh my God. First of all, have you ever seen, oh, let me hide that nail, it's broken. Have you ever seen a more beautiful package? When I opened the box, I was shook to the core. But let's open this up, shall we? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I always pull some shenanigans. Jeez, what fell now? What now? Cheese and rice, man. Let me just back this up. Oh! I mean, come on. Can we look at this beautiful package? I, okay, hide that nail again. It's ugly. I cannot believe how beautiful this is. Mulan is my favorite Disney movie, so I am excited. It also came, Jesus, Gizmo just turned off one of my lights. Gizmo, turn the light back on. Turn it back on. You just can't count on the hell at these days, am I right, ladies? Jasmo, I swear to God, one of these days, why I yada, why I yada. Jokes about domestic violence are funny. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Anyways, okay, back to what I was trying to talk about before I was so rudely interrupted. The package also came with this fan. Do I look at coy and beautiful? No, I just look like an idiot. But that's okay, we can't all be beautiful. And while I'm thinking about it, before we get into this box, please hit that like button. You don't know if you're gonna like this video yet, but you might as well hit it, it's free. And please subscribe to my channel. I would love it so much if you would do those things. And all of my social media is linked below. I go live on Facebook three to five times a week to do very creative, well, as creative as my talent and the self can manage, Luke's. So if you're wondering why I'm not posting that much on YouTube, it's probably because I'm doing more Facebook Lives. We are going to get into this Mulan Colezioni. And I just spit, so hopefully no one gets the coronavirus from my saliva. No, I don't have coronavirus, I rebuke in the name of Jesus. I've also been holding myself away from other humans. I haven't seen any other humans in days, okay? Days. So there's literally almost no way I could have coronavirus. Anywho, if you don't care to hear my whole spiel going through all the products and you just wanna see the tutorial, I will link a timestamp in the description below for where the tutorial starts. So there you have it. Let's get into this package now. So let's look at the lip trio first. Bum, 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 bum. So they called this the honor to us all Lux lip trio. They'll bring honor to us all. Freaking love Mulan, man. First of all, can we just talk real quick about how Mulan is the best Disney movie that has ever been made? Aladdin is pretty freaking fire too. But I like how Mulan focuses on Mulan being the hero instead of like waiting for some bullshit prince to save her. You know what I mean? She like saves their bitch asses. Not to mention she is Asian. I am Asian. We need more Asian representation. Am I right or am I freaking right? So this collection launches Thursday, March 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific. By the time you are watching this, I am guessing that the collection has already launched because it is currently Wednesday, March 18th at six o'clock p.m. Lord only knows if I will be able to edit it that fast. Lord only knows. <laughs> so let me look at prices real quick. You're being honored to us all. 
I, I'm getting sidetracked. How much is this collection? The entire collection features eight items that retail for $25 and under. That ain't bad. And you can get this whole box for only $99. A whole box with this whole schnitt. Okay, all of it for only $99. I mean, that is a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money for how much stuff you are getting. So if you have a little girl or boy in your life who has a birthday and loves Mulan, I think this would be an amazing gift. I would have loved this as a kid for sure, but I wasn't allowed to wear makeup until I was like 15 years old. So my bitch ass wasn't getting any makeup. That's for sure. <laughs> We're getting distracted as per usual, so let's get back into looking at this lip bundle, shall we? Oof, beauteous. Yes, mommy. Mamisita. Okay, so first we have this luxe gloss in the color Phoenix. Oh, it is beautiful. It looks like a clear gloss with a lot of gold flecks inside. And look at the packaging. So, so cute. Then we have a luxe liquid lipstick in the color Strong Chi. It is a really nice matte red. I will swatch both of those colors on the back of my hand for you guys. Okay, there's sirens going off. You're ruining my audio, fam. And there are swatches of the lipstick and the gloss, if you can see it. Gloss is kind of hard to swatch on camera, obviously. Beautiful. Oh, and the packaging is really, really nice on these ones. And then we also have a Luxe lipstick. I don't know why I'm like turned to the side. Luxe lipstick is in the shade Hua Mulan, and it looks like a beautiful pink nude. I'm trying to get better at my product shots, y'all. I know they are a mess. So I will swatch that lipstick on the back of my hand as well. Oh, it looks like a beautiful pinky nude, just as described by yours truly. Such a pretty, pretty set of lippies. And ColourPop's lipsticks are actually how I started loving them. I love how reasonably priced they are and you can get so many colors without breaking the bank. And everything can be even cheaper if you use code 5DEBRA because that will save you $5 off your ColourPop purchase of $20 or more. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. You'll bring honor to us all. You'll bring honor to us all. Boom, chicka boom, I said a boom, chicka boom, I said a boom, a rocka, rocka, chicka, rocka, chicka boom. We'll get into the palette right now. I know that is what everyone gets the most excited for. It comes in this beautiful box. Not that the box matters that much, but I think it's pretty. And the packaging looks just like the box. Very pretty. Ooh, it is a 15 pan palette. That is much bigger than most of their other palettes. Usually ColourPop has nine pan palettes or they have 12 pan palettes. Beautiful. So prices are not out for this, but I'm guessing it's probably $22. I believe their 12 pan palettes are usually $18 and then maybe $20 if it's a collab, because I'm sure they have to give that money for licensing, etc. And I will swatch these bad boys for you right now. <sighs> um, let me be right back. I gotta go get a wipe. And we're running low on wipes because like coronavirus. Oh my God, so fun. Got this pack of wipes at CVS before I couldn't anymore. Coronavirus is fine. No, it's not. I'm almost out of toilet paper. I'm also out of tampons. Y'all, I don't know how many periods any of you were planning on having in the next month, but why did you buy all the tampons? Don't want to share too much information, but your girl has a visitor and I don't have any more tampons. <laughs> send help, okay? Send help. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? My neighbors are probably like, what in the hell is this girl doing now? I don't know why they're suddenly Southern. <laughs> okay, so we're just swatching. We're swatching away, babe. Ooh, yes, that red. Oh my God, this black swatches. So creamy, you would not believe. 
Maybe I should swatch on camera from now on so you can see how they swatch in one swipe. That's something I'll consider for next time. Look at these swatches though. Oh my God, every shade looks beautiful. Not one of them swatched patchy at all. The black, I am shook. That's one swipe, you guys. I know I didn't show you on camera and I have no reason to lie to you because this is not my company and I actually don't even make any money if you use my code. So code 5 Debra saves you money, but it doesn't get me anything. So I have literally no reason to lie to you about the performance of these products. I'm just saying I'm a little shook, okay? Because ColourPop is so affordable and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm suddenly speaking with an accent. Like what? At what point did I start speaking in an accent? I just blacked out. I don't know what happened. Anyways, back to these swatches. They are so beautiful. This is going to be such a good wearable palette. I'm shook. I'm shookity shook, man. Look at these colors. I can't see if I'm in frame or not, so that's why my dumb head is in the shot. That red is so freaking pretty. I cannot wait to do a ton of looks with this palette for you guys. Did you send me daughters when I asked? for sons. Well, there goes one baby wipe. <sighs> baby wipes are all I have to wipe my, my butt with now, my, my bunghole. Because <laughs> we don't have toilet paper. Actually, I do have like three rolls of toilet paper left, so I'm allowing myself like two squares per pee. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been fun. It's been real fun. But let's keep going right down this road, shall we? We got this beautiful Mulan Jasmine face milk. I hope that was a good product shop. Then we got this lip mask, which I am very excited about. We love a good lip mask. Oh, look at that. It's just called gold lip mask. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a balm, a glossy balm with some gold in it. I keep wanting to say, darling, I'll make a man. It's, it's Mr. Mr. I'll make a man out of you. Bom, bom, bom. So that is a really cute, like, glossy lip balm. It's not really sticky at all. I think it looks cute, adds a little bit of sheen to the lips with a hint of gold sparkle. Very cute. It's a little messy to apply, I would say. Okay, and then we have the pressed powder blushes. We have the pressed powder blush in Good Luck Charm. And it is so pretty, if you can see it, it has a lot of gold reflex in there, but a very nice subtle shade. And this is the shade Matchmaker. Gizmo is rumbling while he licks his private parts. <laughs> he is a freaking weirdo. Ooh, it's almost 7 p.m. and it's still really nice and bright outside. So isn't it funny how coronavirus hits as soon as the days are longer and we can actually go outside and want to be outside? Now we can't. Ain't that some sh**, though? Ain't that some sh**? Mr. I'll make a man out of you. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so again, I don't know the individual prices of things. I'm guessing the palette is $25, but you do get this entire collection, including, I wish it was the kind of fan you could whip, but I don't wanna break it. Including the fan, I believe, for 78 doll hairs. So if you were really excited for the Mulan movie and now you can't watch it, well, at least you can get this collection. We will see if it's any good. I will go do a tutorial now and then we'll come back after the tutorial so I will tell you how. Gizmo, Mama's trying to film right now. You're really messing up my audio, man. Rude, am I right? So I will come back after doing the tutorial to discuss the products and how I like them. And it is going to be a voiceover tutorial. So let me know if you like that. <coughs> <coughs> oh my God, Corona. I literally panic every time I cough now. We're gonna start a tutorial in three, two, one. Booyah. Okay, so as you can see, I have one eye on and my hair is in a different style. The makeup look I tried to do last night was an absolute disaster. So we're doing something else today. We're just going to do a very simple wearable loop. I would wear this anywhere. This is kind of my go-to eye style. It's my favorite kind of eyeshadow loop to do. So I'm going to prep my eye with some color. I just spit everywhere. Coronavirus, am I right? With some ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in 40N. 
and then I'm going to set that with powder. So I'm going to go do that real quick, and then I will be right back to get into this tutorial, little lady. Meanwhile, you bring honor to us all. They been fucking. What do you think Kim was doing in the bed when she was with Ray J? That's how Kim started. She been fucking since she was in that bed with Ray J. Who knows? She was carrying Ain't nobody fucking the lady in the tramp. That's all I gotta say. A little longer than a few minutes later. So first we're gonna go into the color Fighter and we're gonna take that in on a Morphe R37 brush and just sweep that into the transition area using some windshield wiper motions. Ooh, and then some swirly swirly motions. And we're just going to keep building that color up until we feel like it looks good. You want to make sure it's a nice smooth transition. So now we're going into the color Strength and we're taking that in on a Morphe R39 brush and placing that a little bit lower into the crease area so we can start getting some more definition built up. I feel like I'm being a mouth breather. Whoops. A mouth breather? Mouth breather. Send help. So we're just darkening up that crease and we're using the outline of the eyeball socket as a guide to know how high to bring this shade. Now we're going into the color Guiding Spirit and we're taking this in on one of my favorite brushes, the Smith 230 brush, and we're placing that into the crease just a little bit lower than that last color and we're continuing to darken up that crease and we're going to put it into the outer V a little bit as well and onto the outer corner of the lid. We are just building a nice, warm smoke. If I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. Now we're taking that same color on a Makeup Shack T58 brush to pat that into the outer corner of the lid to deepen it up even more. And I'm going back in on my Smith 230 brush and I didn't put any extra color on this brush. I'm just using it to blend it out very nicely. Now we're going into this beautiful color, Loyal, and we're taking that on a MAC 242 brush. I'm going to spritz my brush a little bit with some setting spray before going in to get the maximum payoff. And then we're just going to sweep that all over the lid. Again, using the outline of your eyeball socket as a guide to know how high to take this color up. For me, my crease is much lower, well not much lower, but a little bit lower than my eyeball socket. So by taking it up to the eyeball socket it will make my eyes have a bigger more open and awake appearance and that's what we want we don't want to look like a tired sleepy old bitch am I right so we are just using this as if we cut our crease but we're being lazy today y'all we aren't using any concealer to cut our crease and it's a good thing that this color has so much pigmentation because we really don't need to cut our crease we are getting enough color payoff that it looks like we cut our crease now we're gonna go back into that color Guiding Spirit and I'm taking that on a Makeup Shack T58 brush and we're just going to replace some of the, oh, oh, Gizmo's making a lot of noise. Oh, excuse you, Gizmo. <laughs> we're just going to make sure that the color is built up nicely in that outer V. Now we're going into the color Strength and we're taking that again on our Morphe R39 brush just to build back any of the color that may have been lost while we were doing our other blending steps. I like to go in with my colors multiple times just to make sure we have enough of the color deposited on the lid. Now we're going back into the color Fighter and we're taking that on a Morphe R37 brush and just making sure that the transition shade is still nice and visible so we have a nice smooth blend. Lots of transitions mate, no harsh lines. Now we're taking the Carity Millennial Ink Liquid Eyeliner and we're just drawing a wing. So you see here I am just drawing an imaginary line from the other wing so that I can see how high to take up this side so that they match as close as possible. Now I go down about a quarter of the way down the wing and that's where I start showing it out. If that makes any sense to you, maybe I'm explaining this poorly, I don't know. If I do, I apologize. But I'm just doing my best, y'all. Now we're just going to fill in that liner because you don't want to have an empty wing. That would look freaking dumb as hell. Gizmo's whining in the back. Good chap, good chap. We'll ignore that. Lots of background noise. 
Now we're gonna take our Sigma Gel Liner in Wicked, and I'm gonna take that in my Morphe M250-1 brush, and we're just going to use that to tight line. This darkens up the lash line really nice and helps to hide your lash band and make your lashes just look thicker and more better, you feel me? And we want them to look more better, don't we? <laughs> Boom! Okay, my hair is really, really ugly and really bugging me, but everything is closed. Obviously, I can't go around anyone. Coronavirus is ruining my life. <sighs> Thank you for making me ugly. Anyways, now that the eyes are done, I am going to do my face off camera and I will be reviewing the ColourPop sponge set in a different video. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel with notifications on so you don't miss that video. So yeah, I will do my face off camera and then I will be right back, little lady, to finish the fair. Okay, whoa, it's a little too zoomed in there. Hello. So I am back and I have finished my face as you can see. So let's get into this under eye. Well, let's do our blush first and then we'll do under eye. How about it? So we are going to use the blush in the Mulan collection, obviously. This is the Good Luck Charm blush. Very cute. And I am just going to dab that all over the cheeks with my Sephora blush brush. Ooh, very soft and subtle. So heckin' cute we live. Oh yes, we are looking like a natural beauty. Mm, my dear. Now let's finish up the under eye, shall we? We shall. Now we're going into the color Guiding Spirit and we're taking that in on a Makeup Shack T58 brush and we are using that to darken the lash line, keeping this as close to the lower lash line as possible, my dears. We don't want to get this color too far down because this is our darkest color, my lady. Oh, got some of it in my eye, whoopsies. Now we're taking the color Strength and we're taking that in on a Morphe E36 brush and we are dusting that right below the first shade. We are just using the same colors that we used on the top of the eye, on the bottom of the eye, to create a nice smoked out effect, my lady. And now we are going into the color Fighter and I'm gonna take that in on my Morphe E18 brush and this is going to go just a little bit lower than those other shades to blend it out even further, my lady. Now we are going to use the color Strike a Match and we're gonna pop that in on the inner corner with a Sigma E30 brush, my lady. And then I'm looking at it and I'm like, mm, Girl, that's not the color I wanted to use, so we're gonna wipe it off just a little bit. And we're gonna go into the color Be Swift. And we're gonna take that in on our Sigma E30 brush, and we're gonna pop that in because I decided I wanted a gold inner corner highlight. Ooh, yes, we are living for that gold, lady. Yes, the color of wealth, am I right, ladies? Now I'm going into my, oh shoot, I forgot the name of this color. I better look it up. One second, my lady. Oh, it is the J Cat You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter in the color Moonlight, and I'm just sweeping this onto the cheeky cheeks with my Morphe M501 brush. So LA just got a shelter at home order, so I gotta hurry up and get out of here. Now I am just moving on to the lips after my slight panic attack, and we are using the ColourPop BFF Lippy Liner. Now we are using the Mulan Luxe Lipstick in the color Hua Mulan, and we are just putting the lipstick on our lips, ladies and gentlemen. You know, just as one does with their lippy sticks. Although this is not a lippy sticks, this is a Luxe Lipstick. And you can use code 5 Deborah if I haven't said that enough times. That gives me absolutely nothing, but it does save you five real dollars. So you might as well use the code, milady. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I, oh my God. Okay, so LA just ordered basically a sheltered in place and I just got the alert. So like I'm a little worked up right now. I need to get out of here and drive to my boyfriend's place. I am not going to be stuck in this hell hole by myself. Oh my God, okay. Anyways, let's talk about this loop real quick before I gotta go. I feel like my stomach is literally in knots. Oh my God, and I still have white face paint in my ear. That's really cute. Um, My stomach is in knots. My boyfriend lives an hour north of me and I'm just going to go drive to his place. I just, I don't know. In my head, I'm like, what, what if someone stops me and doesn't let me go? But I'm freaking nervous. <sighs> 
Okay, so yeah, I'm nervous, IG2G. Really quick thoughts on the Mulan collection. I freaking love it. I think the PR... Take two. The PR kit is so cute, I can hardly stand it. If you want to get the entire PR box, let me see what the price is. I did say a wrong price earlier, so I will just dub over that because I think that'll be funny. <laughs> The Mulan PR collection, if you want to get it in this box, is 99 doll hairs. That includes everything I showed you at the beginning. And you also get the fan. And if you just want to get the collection without the box, that is $81. There you go. That's what you get for 99 doll hairs. The Mulan palette on its own is $22. The Honor to Us All lip collection is $25. Otherwise, on their own, each lip product is $9. The blushes are each $12, and the cool-ass fan is $10. You'll bring one or two us all. So, I think this collection is beautiful. I loved the blush. I thought it was so super cute and natural. The eyeshadow palette did not disappoint. I mean, ColourPop's eyeshadow palettes never honestly disappoint. I am loving this color. I am not loving that my hair has these flyaways. My god. That flyaway is like a permanent flyaway too. Like, those hairs just do not grow longer than that. You'll bring honor to us all. You'll bring honor to us all. Bum bum. Anyways, I did truly love this collection. I think it is so, so dope. I love Mulan. I am so excited for the movie when it finally does come out. Although I heard they cut out a lot of stuff, so I'm a little upset. If they do not have an I'll make a man out of you sequence, I will sue, okay? I will sue. And I'm pretty sure they're not going to because I heard that character is not in the movie. Whatever his name is, the freaking buff army dude, I will sue. Disney? Get your lawyers ready. Anyways, I don't know why I'm nervous. I gotta go. You can use code 5DEBRA to save $5 on this collection. I love it. If you can get your hands on it, it's beautiful. I will try to get this review up as soon as possible. <sighs> Deep breaths, y'all. Deep freaking breaths. So, if you have not already, please like this video and hit that subscribe button. And now for the question of the day, yay, yay, yay. <laughs> The question of the day is, are you quarantined? Are you sheltered in place ordered yet? What are you doing? Do you have toilet paper? I am down to my last three rolls. I am <laughs> rationing out two squares per pee. It's ridiculous. I don't have any tampons here. <sighs> I don't know how many periods everyone thought they were going to have in the next month, but you bought all the tampons. Can you tell me why? I don't know. I couldn't get any. Whew, I gotta sneeze. Oh, okay, just kidding. Oh, oh. <coughs> Ooh, okay, coronavirus, am I right? That's not a funny joke, this is serious. Anyways, your girl is nervous. Your girl has G2G. I gotta skedaddle here. I gotta skedaddle here, I gotta skedaddle queer, okay? Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything, but if I am, I'm so, so sorry. I am nervous. My heart is pounding. Goodbye. I will T T Y L L Y L A S swag. <laughs> Bring our boys home, Mr. President. It's an unwinnable war. <laughs> President Johnson, bring our boys home from Southeast Asia. It's an unwinnable war. You bring honor to us all. I'll make a man out of you. Let's get down to business to defeat the Hun. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? <laughs> Let it sing. I apologize for being disgusting. I hope you don't mind. It's in my tooth. There we go. I don't know why the first... My first instinct was to use my earring as a toothpick. That's disgusting. But it's my ear and it's my tooth, so your judgments can scoot. Oh, my God. Drop it. Ah! Jesus! Oh, I almost fell. Gizmo crying. Gizmo! Hey! Earth to Gizmo! Cut it out. Pipe down, sir. You don't need to make those noises. You really don't. Wasn't me. You'll bring honor to us all. 
Trash alert, I'm calling the police. You'll bring her to us all. Sick of this bullshit. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? Hi, Gizzy, you're so cute. Look at that face. Pretty. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm Miley Cyrus and that's pretty cool. So I guess that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. They been fucking. You built for the children. You are, you built for the children. You'll bring honor to us all. I feel like I'm so bad at whipping this fan out. My dear. I don't know what I'm doing. Gizmo crying. Thank you for making me ugly, coronavirus. <laughs> My heart is beating out of my chest. I can't do it anymore. Um, hopefully I got a good slow-mo shot. Tee-hee, tee-hee. Okay, my stomach is in knots. I really G2G.